Hey guys, Dan here with Battlefield Curator. I'm at All American Firearms Shop in Aiken, South Carolina. This is my friend John, and he works here at All American Firearms, mm -hmm. and they're actually sponsoring this video. And what this is, is I ordered on Black Friday a Carcano uh, Cavalry Carbine uh, from Royal Tiger Imports. So we're gonna see how nasty this thing looks, how bad it is. Um, John, what's your take on the Carcano uh, Carbines as an uh, actual uh, weapon in World War II? Carcano Carbines are a very good rifle. They saw kind of mixed action in Western Europe during the time of the war, uh, be it uh, probably more in the mountainous regions all the way to um, the, the naval invasions in Sicily and Salerno. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of mixed reviews about Carcanos. Are they good? Are they not? Are they the new Mosin Nagants of the past that we saw? You know, the Mosins came in uh, like, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, really, really cheap. You see them everywhere. Now you're seeing Carcanos everywhere. So people are saying, hey, the, the Carcanos a new Mosin. And I've got a video about that that I made a little while back. You can check that out in the description. Uh, but anyways, let's get to it. Let's unbox this thing. Um, first off, it says Fragile. Uh, must be Italian. So here we go. I'm gonna unbox it here. Hopefully nothing's broken. Hopefully the shipping company did a good job shipping it. I don't want to see anything broken. Oh man, look at that. That's what it looks like. Oh wow. That is amazing. All right. All right. That's a pretty good looking so far. It looks good. And uh, what I gather on the Royal Tiger Imports website, what they say is that this Carcano is from Italy, directly from Italy, and not from Ethiopia. So this is not the Ethiopian surplus you would usually see. So let's see how the action feels. All right, not bad at all, not bad at all. Um, all right, so it's got a little date there. Uh, that's the serial number there. That's what you use for the serial number here, all right. Um, on the action there, so it looks like it's the you know, 1930s, 1940s uh, design. It's gonna be in 6.5 Carcano. The manufacturer date is 1941 on the barrel. Uh, and here's the side of the wood. You can actually see a cartouche right there. Look at that. It's a nice little cartouche there you get on this rifle. So the wood it actually looks in pretty good condition. I did opt for, I did get uh, pay extra for the um the hand select bore so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the bore so let's see what we got here just inside the chamber here okay there's a little bit of cosmoline you can kind of see there's a little bit of like grease it looks like grease not cosmoline it looks like grease in there in that chamber so it's probably been well taken care of all right so you, you got an idea of what the lands and grooves look like i didn't really get a chance to look at them yet uh, but you guys are looking at it before I do, so that's cool. Um, and this is kind of what you would get from Royal Tiger Imports here. It does come with a clip as well. They threw in a clip here. Uh, it's got a SMI, a 1939, SMI 39 here. <coughs> so let's see what else about this. Um, you wanna see if you can get that bayonet out there? Let's see, uh, how do, you, how do you think it feels? Does it feel smooth? Is it? It's a little rough. It's a little rough. There you go. All right. Let's see. All right. Yeah. Quick. It doesn't, there's no play with that bayonet. Now, John here is a reenactor for World War II events. How often do you see these Carcanos out there? I, I rarely actually ever see them. Really? Uh, are there a lot of Italian reenactors? Only at certain events there are Italian reenactors. Primarily the ones I've been to have been um, later wars, so post Sicily and Salerno invasion, so around about uh, 44 to 45, going from France to uh, Battle of the Bulge. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, there could be more Italian battles because there are a lot of battles that the U.S. was a part of that took place in Italy a lot um, so there, there could probably be a little bit more Italian battles now there is a uh, uh, it might be a cleaning kit in here or maybe some cleaning rod or something you get something yeah something. go get something and uh, serial number wise the stock here does match the receiver so that is really cool 
uh, that we've got matching numbers there. Uh, you can take this wrapper thing off here. Wow. Yeah, the wood is not, not in bad shape at all, really. I would definitely take this to the range and enjoy this and see how well it shoots. Here, I've actually brought something we could we could see. You know, just this will just give us an idea of how how good that bore is. Uh, that actually looks like a really good bore. That's it sits right there on the tip before it starts to curve. So this should actually be a really good shooter uh, once we take it to the range. So I definitely look forward to taking this to the range and seeing what kind of accuracy I get out of it. Um, like I said, this was hand select bore. All right, so let's take apart, let's see what's inside the butt plate here. Oh, you missed. A little tough there, huh? Yeah, it's old. Yeah. No kit. There's nothing in there, okay. Um, well, that's, that's it for this Carcano. Um, that's it for the unboxing, guys. So if you like this kind of content, be sure to share with your compadres and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, usually I just tell you to pulverize the like button and subscribe for the algorithms. Uh, but yeah, that, you know, you could just gently like it this time. You don't have to pulverize anything. Uh, John, you got anything closing? No, I'm not going to have the moment. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, as I always like to say, guys, uh, be sure to learn history and curate history. Make it a great day.